In this video, I want to introduce you to the top-down test package, which contains all of the assets you're going to use to put together your top-down game. Now, we call it top-down test because really, this whole project is kind of a proof of concept. It's a way that you can see a method of going about creating such a game and then use the techniques in these videos and apply them to your own variations of a similar game. So you'll notice that the package is broken up into several different highly organized groups. We have UI scenes. All of the UI scenes here are fairly simple and anytime we do anything particularly interesting, we're gonna open them up and show you what we've said. We have some very simple textures here, uh, one powering a fire, we have a texture for a little key material, and we have a texture 2D, which is going to be used as a mask, a few very simple static meshes, a block, a little floor split, and we have the actual key static mesh, some sound cues. Now, all of these sound cues were created using sound effects that are already included with UDK. So we've got the announcer telling us that we've lost the match. You have lost the match. Or won the match. You have won the match. And a few different countdowns to power our timer. 30 seconds left. And I'm not going to go through the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 countdown, but it's all there. These are just straight up sound cues. If I open any one of them up, they're all built exactly the same way. It's just the sound effect itself plugged straight into the output of the sound cue. If you really wanted to recreate these on your own, it would only take you a couple of minutes. We have one particle system, which is actually a variant of the particle system that was created uh, in our particle videos. Next, we have our materials. So you notice we have a material for our fire, a material for our block, etc., and so forth. And then finally, some material instance constants, which allow for some variation in our materials. All of the different types of asset you see have been created in some form or fashion, or types of that asset, uh, have, or I should say assets of that type, excuse me, have been created in the previous videos leading up to this. So if you want to know more about creating materials, we have videos over that. If you want to know more about setting up particle systems, we have videos over that as well. So everything is here. It's all ready for you to explore. If you'd like to dig through some of these assets and see how they were put together, feel free. But as we complete this level, we're going to work, move forward as if all of these assets were generated for us. And we're just going to focus on the level and the Kismet setup. And the reason for that, as you can see here, is that the Kismet setup for this game is pretty vast. We're going to show you how to create all of these nodes and give you the logic behind why they're doing what it is they're doing. So I have a lot of things to cover. And by giving you these assets on kind of a pre-made basis, it allows us to focus on how this game actually works. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started putting together our top-down game. This is 